What if you want to set something up for a signature? So here I've just got another generic, I just found a sample legal document uh, that you might find in the Word templates. And let's go ahead and set this one up. And uh, again, we're going to save it as an Adobe PDF first. Um, here, signature sample. And let's go ahead and save that as a PDF. And there it's open for us. Now, I've already created the signature lines here. Again, it's always good to set up some of those precursory things in your uh, originating program. It makes it simpler when you get to the PDF. Now, uh, I didn't mention this before, but if you need to edit any of those text bits, you can click on the right side, get in your tools, and choose the Edit PDF. Or go up to your Tools menu, Edit PDF. And then you'll see, let me zoom in. I can actually get in and mess with the actual text. So if you are getting a, a PDF file and you need to make some changes to it, jump in there, edit PDF, and see if you can make those edits and uh, move along to a new, cleaner, updated version of the PDF. Okay, so once I have finished the editing portion, what I'm going to want to do now is to request signatures. So I'm going to go ahead and request a signature here. And what it's doing is asking me again for who is going to get this, who needs to do the signature, write your note and stuff there. And then our next step is to signify where they're going to sign on this document. OK, step by step, it's thinking. We get a little uh, bar there letting us know it's, it's getting it done. All right, so I'm going to scroll down. Click wherever you need the signature. And so I'm navigating to the place I want. Click and look at my options there. So it's a text field. Um, it is set as a signature field. If you click, you can see that you can choose different pieces that you might want. Signer's name, date, email, if you need a checkbox. Okay, so let's click over here. It is picked up. And you know, I did very clearly signature and date, trying to make it simple for us. Uh, it is set as a date field. That's good. And when I have picked those things and I'm ready to go, let's go ahead and hit send. Remember, I filled in the email address first, and I wanted to do a, those couple of things. So we could jump over to my email, and you could see it from the other side of things. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like in my email. Um, it's come from this person, and it, this is not something to uh, forward and delegate. I need to review and sign it myself. And here I'm getting a window here that's saying, hey, okay, you agree to the terms of the Adobe sign. And I'm going to start. And it's taking me right to the signature spot. I'm going to click there and look at your different ways. You can type it. You can draw it. You can upload an image. And if you're uh, connected to your mobile device, you can sign first on the mobile device and then use the signature over and over. I'm going to do uh, a typed option there. Now, an electronic signature is simply this. It's happening electronically. You may have heard the term digital signature. That is a, a verification process, like no, notarizing that you are who you are, right? So um, this is an electronic signature. I'm going to apply it. And it has popped in the date for me automatically and then pointed out, click to sign, and I will do it.
Let's look at this email that I got. Again, this is from my account where I generated everything. So everything that my Adobe account. So this one is saying that the signature sample has been completed between myself and Sally and it is done. And I have the signed final version here and that I could open up. Let's open it up, just make sure it came through okay. And there it is, there's my signed version.